Hello ladies and gentlemen. So in this video, um, I was trying to keep on working on that series of helping people to improve in PvP. And some of it will be things that you can do in the war zone and some things you can do outside of the war zone. Um, for this particular video, I wanted to show you guys something that could potentially help you to improve with uh, communication. I did one of these walkthroughs at the tail end of a video, but I figured it'd be simpler just to make one just dedicated to that. It should only be like a minute or two long. So by default you have general, which um, covers everything. People in guilds talking, general chat, PvP channel trade, and other should just be your yellow text. So I'm going to create a new tab, and I'm going to call this one PvP slash ops. Although it's probably mostly just going to be using, being used for PvP. So now we're going to check the chat settings. Now by default, pretty much everything here is ticked. So I'm going to start unticking boxes. So global channels, trade, PvP in general, I'm going to uncheck those. I'll leave emotes just in case. Uh, yells just in case, and officer just in case. Guild, I'm going to turn off. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, say, eh, I guess I'll leave it on, and Whisper I'll leave on just in case. Um, in case someone, ooh, pardon me. Um, just in case someone sends me a message. Um, all of this stuff for the ops group channel, I'll leave those on. So now at the bottom for system channels, I'll turn off combat information. Uh, sometimes I turn this one off on some characters, sometimes I leave it on. On this one, I guess I'll get rid of it. System feedback, get rid of that. Guild information and group information. So the reason why I uncheck all of those things, pretty much, is because I want to have less stuff in this box as possible. Ideally, if someone in the war zone says something, that should be pretty much everything that shows up in this screen. Even the information that says, say, you were defeated by someone with this much damage, or you defeated someone for that much damage, you can live without that. If you don't happen to see those damage numbers pop up on your screen, it's not really the end of the world. So, I'm going to leave all that stuff off. And the reason why is the less information that shows up, the better. And that way, when someone, for example, oops, wrong button. Uh, that way, for example, when someone says something <laughs> along, the, along the lines of need help west or um, need help on the east or in the center node in uh, Civil War, I need help, you'll see it. Because what happens sometimes is you'll be fighting, you're focusing on doing whatever it is you're doing, and you'll see one of your nodes change color, and you'll type in chat, hey, why didn't you call out? What's going on? And they say, I did, and you scroll up, and you're like, oh, crap, they did. Like, three times, and I didn't see it. Which happens. But ideally, by doing this, because if you go back to the general channel, just for example, what's on my screen right now, this message is from Guild, there's some of this yellow text from system information, people are speaking in general, If and now there's people in the PvP channel, and what other channels? You know, just stuff about achievements that your guildmates are doing, and all that stuff. You'll what potentially happens is you're so used to seeing all this stuff popping up on your screen, you tune it out. I think the term might be situational blindness, but I'm not positive. But the point being is you're so used to seeing all this text coming up in here, you start to ignore it, and then when something important happens, you might miss it. So by minimizing what shows up, and this is some stuff that came in before I set the options, um, by minimizing it, the only text that shows up is important, and you know that, it'll make it easier to see. And also, I think the way my UI is set up, the ops frames start about halfway down the screen, or maybe a bit lower than that. So if you take the box and you stretch it out, um, I don't normally make it that wide. I think I'd probably do it about there. And it just makes it easier to see when things show up. Let's so if you type in something like, oh, I need help west. That would be the only thing that shows up in there. And I'm not really going to hit enter because I'm still in guild chat and I'm not in an ops group. But if I was, that's where that text would show up. 
So this is just uh, something you can do to try to help improve communication so that when your teammates message something relevant to the war zone, you're more likely to see it. And yeah, because you don't want to miss callouts from your teammates. That can be really bad. Because ideally, you'd be in a voice client with your teammates, but that's not always possible, especially when you're pugging in a pickup group. I've played, I mostly play in pickup groups, but when possible, I do like teaming with guildmates just because, you know, they're a good group to play with, they're fun, and it's easier to communicate and gel with them. But I still do a fair amount of pickup groups, and this is something that I've been doing to, so that I'm less likely to miss messages from teammates. This may help you, may not, uh, but you can make... I, you can make several tabs in your chat box, so why not give it a shot? See if it works for you. All right. Hope you all have a good night, and I'll see you next time.